Worms. Mm. Glow Worms, a channel dedicated to hot chili peppers and coldly glowing glow worms. <coughs> <coughs> and now another step on my journey to a small fruited super hot chili pepper. I have here two individuals of the breeding line that is designated Cariolochia screeper strain zero. Um, they just started to produce ripe fruits and I have selected two individuals that are um, the most interesting of the six um, that I have in total. It is the F2 generation which is the most interesting one of course because the traits separate and are redistributed according to our good old pal uh, Mendel. And um, yeah, these two are most interesting because this one has um, comparatively, uh, in comparison to the other plants, um, quite a few fruits. They have um, almost been kept in the same condition, so this one is most likely um, especially um, um, predisposed to produce a larger yield uh, and uh, not just many uh, a few big fruits but many small fruits that's it's exactly what i want um and um they um uh ripen to the color red and are comparatively small as i mentioned and that's uh, one of my big goals and the other plant um doesn't have as many fruits i think um and they are mostly too big but um they have uh, interestingly inherited a um more a more elongated fruit shape um i guess it's uh, some some genetic material from the butjolokia um that is has returned to the surface i guess because um this was one of the ancestors of the Cariolochia screeper strain zero. It is a multiple hybrid between uh, Carioca, Butjolochia, Trinidad Scorpion Maruga Red, and the Carolina Reaper. And um, of all those ancestors, only the Butjolochia had those elongated fruits, so maybe. Um, and it has also the little stinger, which. Uh, is most prominent in the Carolina Reaper. Um, quite nice to see in some of those fruits. Yeah, but they are mostly uh, too, too big for the uh, my real breeding goal. But um, the shape looks interesting, and I like the stinger, so um, I'm interested and how this one will taste and burn and also this one of course and interestingly there's <laughs> uh, another s uh, conjoined twin of fruits so to speak there's a little fruit that appears to have been created by the fusion of two flowers since the stem is also doubled i think it looks like it and this is a phenomenon that has occurred a few times in my um breeding breeding line that started with uh the cariolochia just the cross between butjolochia and carioca but um oh uh, that's interesting the, the fruits itself is mostly smooth this one of this um, this individual is a bit more gnarly and rough on the fruit surface, but otherwise it ripens to red as well. And hmm, otherwise, the fruits are in both cases not really clustered on one note, but uh, it looks more uh, uh, superficially. It looks a bit like um, this one had would have more clusters but I think that's just because um, the fruits uh, are just hanging closer together but they are not really originating from the same note and here on this individual it's mostly just uh, one fruit per note but enough of the rambling um, let's get down to business uh, 
I think I will select the smallest ripe fruit I can find on this plant. There we have it. Nice and small. If all of the fruits had this size, it would be perfect. Hmm. This one. And uh, on those, on this plant, they are mostly of the desired size. But again, I will pick a smaller one that is already, already ripened. I'll take this one. Looks almost the same as the other on the other plant, but you know, it's a bit a small wound, I, I guess. Okay, well, it's not really a good comparison. Representative. Represent, representative for both of the fruits, but um, let's try them. <clears throat> I think I will start with this one. I have already consumed large or even obscene amounts of food previously to have a solid uh, layer so that they don't burn me totally. Mm. <laughs> Smells nice and fresh, almost a bit citrusy. Okay. Mm hmm. Oh. <laughs> oh. oh. <clears throat> okay, I'm glad this fruit wasn't larger. Yeah, I think uh, citrusy is a good dis description of the taste. And oh, hmm. Oh my! <clears throat> well, it's, I guess, not the heat level of the Carolina Reaper, but it's uh, <coughs> pretty damn close, perhaps. Oh yeah. It's definitely, definitely hotter than um, the Cariolochia scorpion, which was the breeding line before I introduced the Carolina Reaper. Yeah. Hmm. Wow. Actually, this one is, I think, pretty close to my breeding goal. But, of course, I also have another breeding line, the Ahi Charipa. And we'll see where this one goes and if they can combine in a useful way. And now it has arrived in my tummy, I guess. Well done, well done. 
let's try the other one. I guess I will have an immediate comparison if this one is hotter than this one. Um, I guess this one smells a bit sweeter. This one had a very fresh and citrusy smell and this one smells um, a bit flowery, flowery, sweet, I guess. Mm, this side of my mouth is uh, quite on fire from this one, so I will try to chew this one on the other side. <laughs> Maybe I will have a direct comparison uh, by this way. Oh man, I'm not sure this is a good idea to do the <coughs> this little double feature. Okay. <coughs> okay. Uh, taste wise, it's a bit more like a habanero. I guess this is uh, <coughs> the genetic heritage from the carioca. It's also a bit bitter. And the heat, first there was nothing, and now I guess oh yeah, I guess that's a reaper level. Oh, definitely hotter than this one. It's salivating. Okay, this one tastes better, this one burns harder, this one has smaller fruits, this one has larger fruits. I guess uh, what could be a good idea is to use um, this individual or its offspring to cross it into the other breeding line that I mentioned, the Ahi Charipa. And this one um, is definitely close to my goal. If it had the heat of this one, it would be ideal. Um, the heat uh, from this one, by the way, has either died down or it was um, overwhelmed by the heat from the other side of my mouth. Um, uh, I'm glad that I didn't uh, try one of the one of those large fruits. Mm. So yeah, very promising. Um, I think. It's on a very good way to my ultimate goal. But uh, I'm also having uh, great hopes for the Ahi Charipa and like I said, the combination of both of those lines might be uh, interesting to produce something that's really uh, unique. My own little breeding line, my own little chili variety with small fruits that are super hot and are ideal for a quick thrill, extreme heat, boom! and gone and not too much of an afterburn if you know what I mean because the um, overall a bolus of capsaicin and capsaicinoids was uh, 
just smaller um, when you only have to digest a small fruit in, instead of a large one. Short extreme heat burst, that's what I want. And uh, no habanero taste, that's something which is not so good about this one, if this one fruit is representative, of course, because it, it had more a uh, typical habanero taste, you know, somewhat peachy, um, soapy, one could say. Well, uh, this one was, um, yeah, I guess quite tasty. Fresh and citrusy. And this one, bitter, soapy, peachy. Yeah. I think I'll call call it a day for now. And we'll see how my tummy works with this. But I think I will be fine, I guess, I hope. Well, so far, quite nice. Mm -hmm. Well, well. Um, I guess two down and um, four more to go from the um, Cariolokia Screepers Train Zero. Alrighty then.